Now, that's all really nice and cool and everything, but we actually want to store these values in our database, or, or in the case of App Engine, we are going to refer to our data store, just because it's another type of database. In contrast to MySQL, if, may, if some of you may have developed websites already, MySQL is a relation date, relational database where you would actually have to go first on your local machine, create the database, go to the database, create the table, define what fields there are in each table, so on and so forth, and then do the exact same thing in your production server. The Google App Engine database, or data store in this case, is going to be very different because we are going to define in code how our data is going to be modeled, and then when we push our code into production, production will just get that model and use the model to, to store our, our information or our data. So essentially, we don't have to do work twice. So this is going to be a really nice feature. Okay. So what do we have to do to save our information into our data store? Well, first of all, we need to import the code that gives us access to the data store itself. So let's go here above web app two and let's say from google.appengine.ext import ndb. Okay, so that's from google.appengine.ext import ndb. Now, ndb is the library of code that will allow us, first of all, to model our data, and second of all, which will give us access to the data store so we can write and read information to and from the data store, okay? Okay, great. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to define the model of our data. So how does our data look like? What fields do we want to store? So to do this, we are going to implement another class. So this is class, and we're going to say greetings is going to be the name of the kind of information we are going to store. And we need to, again, build upon or extend on ndb.model, okay, model, okay. So again, ndb.model is a library of code which has certain functionalities already built in for us. And we are going to build on top of this library of code just to model our information, okay? So the next thing we need to type inside of the class is what fields do we want to store and of what type are those fields going to be? So the first thing I'm going to say is the name is going to be ndb.string property and I'm going to say it's going to be a required field so required is equal to true then I'm going to say message is equal to ndb and this is going to be a text property instead of a string property and it's also going to be required now what's the difference between a text property and a string property String properties are usually shorter texts, right? So the amount of information a string property can store in the data store is far less than text property. A text property can hold or store any amount of text you want. Now, why is this, right? Why don't we just use text property? Well, text properties cannot be searched upon. So if we try to search something in the message field, we won't be able to, right? Because it's just too big and this allocates too much memory so to, to be able to search through this effectively. However, we will be able to filter out data using this string property, okay? So that's the basic difference. This one holds less information, but we can search on it and this one or filter data on it and the text property can hold much more text on it, but we cannot filter data on this uh, field of data. The next thing we want to store is basically a date, let's say. Let's call this date or let's call this timestamp. This is the, the more technical word for this piece of information. And this is going to be essentially the the date and time at which a post was created. Okay, so timestamp is equal to ndb dot date time property. Okay, now we we are going to add a a a parameter called auto now add is equal to true. What this will do is each time we store something to our data store, so we store a new piece of information, we will not go and have to figure out what's the current time and pass it to our data store. The data store will do this for us automatically. So this will be really neat. Okay, so th this is it. We have defined our model, which consists of a name of a user, a message, and a timestamp. Now let's go ahead and store this information according to our model. So what we have to do is we have to call 
greet, greetings, right, which is the model of information, open brackets, and pass in our values. So name, we call the, the field name, right? So we have to say name is equal to username, colon, message is equal to message, right? Now don't get confused. The first message, the red one, refers to the name of the field of our greetings, right? And the second one refers to the variable we have stored our message incoming from our request, okay? Okay, great. And essentially, this is it. We don't need to, to pass in the, the timestamp, as we said before, because the data store is going to add this automatically by itself. Okay, so there's one thing we have to, to add to, to this greetings, and that's the put method, right? The put method, sorry, the put method. The put method is going to go ahead and store this piece of information to our database, okay? Okay, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and run, rerun our application. I'm actually going to, before I run our, my, our application, I'm going to open up the local host, but on the port 8000. This will give us access to the, the console of our application that's currently running. And here we have the data store viewer, which we click. We will be able to see the information we're storing to the data store when we store something in it, okay? So let's go here, refresh this continue and now if we refresh our data store viewer we are actually saving stuff to the data store so this is extremely exciting we have we are saving something to our data store which we will then be able to retrieve and show to our users okay this is super super cool and if we see here the timestamp is also being saved automatically so this saves us a bunch of work so this is all really nice and neat